I have to keep my hands up. <laughs> well, Jill, where are we going now? We're going to see that Tasmanian devil. <laughs> devil I yeah, hope we'll be able right. to see it. Everybody talks about it. Everybody asks me about it. No, Still definitely. haven't seen it. All right. Great, great, great. Yeah, okay, good. As long as you can buy your thing. I'll keep my things. So Phil brought me to this wildlife park. So eventually I'll be able to, to see the Tasmanian devils and even, even hand it in, hold it in, in my hand. So we'll see how it's going. There you go. Just don't go too close to that little mouth. <laughs> She's going, oh wow. Everybody coming and oh, going. She's about 10 months old ten now. Months old yeah, now. come Good girl. We'll go in and have a little trouble. I think he just likes to change the seat. Mm -hmm. I'll get to sit next to you because I can't actually let it go. It's always okay, love. It's okay. So there you go. So feel free just to put your hand on top of her. Yes, my love. It's okay, Andrew. Mm -hmm. What is she doing? Yeah. Ooh, like a dog. Like a dog? Yeah. Well, probably. Yeah. So she's relaxing a little bit. I'm just too bad. So I'll just keep. Okay, I've got very strong jaws too. They don't do. They? Now, they, now your um, pressure of your jaws would probably be about 160 to 180 pounds per square inch. Hers is about 3,000 when, as an adult. Ooh, ten, a lot. 10 times and more. Mm, more. Yeah, so it's almost like a 20 meter shark or a 20 meter crocodile. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so I will lose my finger, eh? Oh, you'll lose your hand too. Yeah. 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 So you know Very encouraging, yeah? No, I don't know. No, that's, you, you, that, that's why I've got my hand here. <laughs> That way she's not going to be able to turn around and have a sniff of your oh, fingers. Right. Because you're a stranger, so she's sort of going, okay, are you edible? Yeah. They actually eat um, waste food, so they don't ever, ever, well, usually they don't get their own. They don't um, catch live food. They eat, did you see the dead animals on the way through when yeah, you yeah, came in here? Lot, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of wallabies, possums and things like that. This is what they eat. And that's what they eat, and that's what we actually feed okay. them here. Um, that's their normal food. So when so we you, you have a lot of food on the on the streets. Yeah. Someone yeah. just Unf unfor no, unfortunately we can't get that because the wild devils may have a, a thing called devil facial tumor and it's very contagious and our little ones don't have it. Okay. So it's not worth the risk of getting it. No. We actually have a, a professional person who goes and sources off, off a particular farm for us yeah. and we feed it to them that way. Okay. Now when we're actually feeding um, we'll feed them a wallaby leg in the afternoon. So if you're here at one o'clock, we'll be doing the devil feed just out across the bridge and you'll be able to see that. Now, the piece of meat we feed them is usually about a kilo and a half, like a roast leg of lamb, except it's a, a, a wallaby leg. Yeah. And that bone on there is about the same width as the bone of my wrist. And you just hear them go crunch and it's just, oh my God. Just the, the hearing it. Gentle now, honey, just gentle. See, the reason why we can handle these guys is when mum has the babies. Yeah, the, she's, the, she's the got girl she's explaining. Oh, you okay. Put them on the side and keep it separate. Yeah. Until they just got calm, and if some of them is aggressive, you put it on the side as well. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, so with any of the animals, like especially with devils, they can give themselves some nasty bites, so sometimes yeah. we have to intervene. But we just usually let them heal themselves. Yeah, yeah. They make yeah. a lot of noise too, don't they? Oh, they do. They, Screaming they, sounds. They, they look at the world as everything's going to hurt them. Ooh, look at those yeah. teeth. And there's locked onto the jacket. There we go. There's 42 of those little razor blades in there. Yeah, um, hmm? That was waving. Uh, <coughs> good girl, wave. Uh, okay. Well, good girl. Uh, <coughs> no hands? Oh, good girl, that's a wave. Oh, hello. <laughs> no Ooh. hands. Come on, no hands. Yeah, this was cool. Good girl, I'll get you a reward. He's curious, huh? I hope it cannot jump. <laughs> Come on, devil. No, they can't jump. They can't jump. They can't jump that high. It's very funny.
refeito. É, essa florescendo, não é mais? I have to keep my hands up. <laughs> this is the wombat. What he's saying? He's boxing or <laughs> train eating? Trying to find his way out. Hey, come on, boy. Come on, boy. So I think I've seen a lot of roadkill of this. Okay. Keep digging. <laughs> you might success in some stage. <laughs> All right. How are you? You're good. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello. Ooh, more coming. Excellent. I oh, see. They obey the rules. They bend their knees in front of the king. All right, I fed the kangaroos at least. All right, All right. I cannot feed the, the devil, but at least <laughs> I can feed the kangaroos. Oh, don't fight, don't fight. Yeah, it will be nice. More to come, all right? Go to him, go to him. Go come to here, him. Come here, boy. <laughs> Yeah. And more are coming. They're pretty fast when they're jumping. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, they can yeah. move very well. How are you, my friend? Nice. You're good? I think with these animals, the, uh, the, the nature makes some kind of joke. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of those sort of joke animals yeah. here. Yeah. I have nothing, no more. No food, no food. Get down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you just have to me, they love you now. Oh, this one can come right up here. Yeah, well, 150 like your wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The tail was a really strong tail. Yeah, they, they used to support, yeah. What a place. What a place. Thank you once again. All right. All right. I was very lucky until probably two o'clock, and then it starts raining, and the whole afternoon was heavy, heavy rain. So I haven't got chance to to write more and now stop stop just for a while and I want to use this 
opportunity to go to the uh, to the ship because it might start to rain again and it's all right my gear is fine but then it will be wet outside and finally when I get to the boat I will not have any chance to dry it and it's not going to be good but as usually I'm lucky so it's just stop raining for me and uh, and Phil starts his car just to come with me and escort me to the to the port very kind it is so windy here so windy actually moving my bike from left to right all the time so I have to slow down to 80 90 kilometers per hour because it's moved the whole bike well it is not exactly the right weather to travel but at least I've got this chance to, to come here dry so I'm not gonna worry about my wet gear at the terminal so all went as usual very very, very well all right Thank you very much, Phil, for everything. No Great help to escort me. You're a good vlog. Yeah, I'm a good, and you're a good, good vlog. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was so windy, I had to slow down because it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, you should be able to go straight on now. I'll be all right. There's a shelter for motorbikes. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. You go back safely. Thanks for calling into us. Yeah. yeah, my pleasure. I'll do it again probably in no, the future no, yeah. yeah 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 I still, I still have a lot of things to see still have a lot of things to see yeah. and you love New Zealand uh, uh, by the time you've done New Zealand uh, you will have forgotten Tasmania will I? Yeah. <laughs> alright so, all right. ok look forward to see it ok thanks ciao ciao bye bye yeah man great person great person <sighs> so I met Matt again <laughs> so we're gonna spend the time together again ah, excellent everything is going brilliant actually he need to spend the last five hours riding in this shitty weather but yeah it is what it is. Alright, it's 6.30. It was raining last night, so I did not uh, have a video, but now we're alright. I met Matt again. <laughs> Matt, how are you today? Uh, living the dream, nice and soaked from last night. Oh, okay. How are your boots? Very wet. Very wet. Alright, so we're gonna get out. Get a coffee, wait for a couple of hours, the rain to stop, then we'll be alright. Alright, another day, another adventure. <laughs> <laughs> alright, I just met Peter, and you already know Matt. Yeah. And what Matt did? Matt, uh, living what, what you have done? I'm living the dream, mate. Lost the key on the ferry over, had to push the bike, the walk of shame out of the ship. Yeah. And now i got to find a way to start this thing, get all the way back up to Sydney. All right. Oh, it's going to be a fun trip. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, what is the lesson you can learn from uh, this? Always, always have a spare key. <laughs> oh. oh, man. It's a hard learned lesson. <laughs> uh, oh, it's oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, look, if you if you get stuck this evening and things like that, if you can't get it fixed today, uh, let me is. know. I got a cousin that lives out in Melbourne too, so I should be right back. Okay. I really appreciate the offer, man. I'm 20 minutes down that way. See how it works out, okay? We might see you later, huh? That's your out, boys. Hope you have a good ride. <laughs> All right. See you, see you on the road. Ciao. All right. Another beautiful morning. Oh. The forecast said may 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 rain later, but they also said that it will rain now. So I hope with my famous look I'll be fine. So Peter came to meet me with his Kawasaki Vulcan. So we're gonna stop for a while 
drink tea, warm up, wait a little bit and then uh, we're gonna ride locally today, see what we can see around. Uh, people are great, just great. Early morning streets of Melbourne, people just get started. See the skyscrapers over there? I got the chance to see it on uh, sunset, now I can see it on sunrise. Cool. Alright, we'll stop here. Let's right now to see what we can get before the weather screw up again. Nice apartments over there. I'll make a picture, picture. What a beautiful moment. Look at this. It's awesome, man. Ah, look. It's great. Absolutely. It was a very special moment for just two minutes and now all gone. No more rainbow. And the rain is coming. So I hope we'll be able to see something before it starts rain again. This is the famous uh, Luna Park, Melbourne Luna Park. We just stopped to, to see it and to make a couple of pictures. And fortunately the weather improved so I was, I, I took the camera off for a while but now I'm back again good so the good weather coming from that direction pushing the clouds on that direction which is good so we're going over there just for a while and then we'll come back here excellent excellent nice road here the ocean is on the right this expensive house is on the left the key yachts yeah, beautiful more beautiful houses on the beach. Nice. Ah, look at the ocean. Wow. So this is the ocean, guys. Next, you see where the Melbourne is? So that, oh, this is beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, night time. Yeah. And and these are Peter just told me these boxes are actually you can come here and buy one of these and have this beach house and they cost two hundred and fifty thousand yeah holy shit and it, and actually it's nothing it's just small wooden house what you see this is what you get and do people buy this oh yeah this is crazy they come on the market once or twice every couple of years and somebody will die and Crazy, crazy. Kind of crazy. Yeah, uh, all right. <laughs> and the sun is coming. Very, very good. Actually, this is the road I used a couple of days ago to go to Melbourne Port and to take the ship for Tasmania. But it was later in the evening. Now it's early morning. Beautiful, beautiful road. Here, somewhere very close, supposed to be Peter's place. Uh, he's a lucky man live in this beautiful area ah oh, what a place he has what a place he has just wonderful
everywhere. So, so down there live the billionaires and here live the millionaires. Exactly. Okay, now I got it. <laughs> now I got it. Lucky you, lucky you. What we want to show you now is that it is not always sunny and hot in Australia. So look at what it is. Mordialak Beach. So now we're gonna walk over there and we'll record this uh, powerful ocean now. You see what it is? Crazy, crazy. It's just unbelievable and the whole coast. Ah, it, uh. Just to know that in Australia it's not only summer, not only hot days. Unfortunately the weather here is changing all the time. So I have to mount the camera, remove it. So now we have this chance to have it again and over the over there on the coast I hope it's going to be sunny so let's see go just one time to show this beautiful spot nice the view from here is even better ah oh, man Let's go to this small harbor. It is so windy here actually moving my bike. I don't know what you're able to hear but just there are hundreds, thousands of places like this in around Australia. That's why people love it. Ah uh, see the waves splashing into the Okay. Peter just said me that tell me that this is a famous uh, restaurant here. It's always full. Look at how the waves are clashing. Beautiful. More from the coast. It's interesting light both sides. Hopefully the wind will blow up the the clouds. Let's see how big it is. Ooh and this way. And the sun is just drilling over there. Very, very, very nice. So windy, man. So windy. When the sun comes, it's always great. Beautiful scenes, where it is green. It's nice town, very, very calm. The name was Flinders or something like that. Just one main street, like old American towns. Interesting. Flinders, yeah. Flinders Hotel. This tree just fell down. It was so windy. Yeah, this course is beautiful again. Very, very nice.
See this place? And all these bolts. And the sun came on time. So we're gonna stop and have a lunch somewhere and then we'll continue after that we'll be here all right all right just around 10 minutes ago I parked the bike on the street but because of the angle of the side stand it fell down and actually bent my hand guard but I'm not gonna try to fix that now I'll do it when I get get back but I need to find a solution to this side stand because it was windy and when the, the wind just blow a little bit and uh, it went down not good whatever so now we're gonna use a different road to go back to Melbourne then Peter go home, I go to Sasha. This is a small former fisherman village, Hastings. Nice. See the seagulls? <laughs> Man. So windy here. Very charming place. Small coffee break and now we dive into the city. Peter will go home and I will go to Sasha's house. Uh, it was very good day, very very nice day. Even even the bad weather cannot stop me enjoying the day. We reach Melbourne. Very good. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. You're a good man. Thank you for the help. Even the bad weather cannot destroy our joy. Yeah. <laughs> Abs ab absolutely, absolutely. Take care. Ride safe. See, see you again. Yeah, yeah. Of course. When I complete the trip, definitely we'll see you again. Bye, bye, my friend. Thank you for everything. Bye. Ah, yeah. Definitely. Ah yeah, man, very good guy. Absolutely perfect day we've got today. From six o'clock, now it's almost four o'clock. The time just flying here, just flying. Bye. Ay, ay, ay. Finally, I will take this bridge. I just watch it from three days, but I never have a chance to, to go on it. Now I'll go. What a dramatic cloud I have at the moment. I'm really sorry that I cannot stop here and make a picture. See what it is. The sun is drilling over there. The clouds, this white spot, and the dark on the top. Interesting, very interesting. As you can see, a lot of traffic on the highway. All right. The first mission of my trip is completed. I went to Tasmania, saw it, come back, good.